our behavior and everything what we say, what we do, the way we react to different situations, those are programs from the subconscious mind. Where our awareness is somewhere around 5%. 95% is from the subconscious. When I am unable to change things in the subconscious, then it becomes my enemy, which is which shouldn't be. So first step is to become friend with your subconscious. I'm just going to take a shot because uh, civil method uh, uh, gives you a, a warranty, a guarantee that if you do not like the program, you can refuse your certificate and you can get your money back. The repetition creates neuropaths and creates yeah. programs in sub subconscious mm -hmm. mind. You're going to create problems because our attention is on problems and not on solutions. Yes. So we we're, we're always get what we are asking for. So let me take the pleasure to introduce you to one of the most experienced person in the Silva community. We have Raiko, Raiko Kuchmanovic, and he is a certified Silva Method instructor and director in Romania. And uh, Raiko, for how many years you have been in this field? Uh, please, please tell us. Well, and how uh, did you do I'm, 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 I'm lecturing. I'm teaching Silva for. This year, we are celebrating 30 years of uh, civil wow. method in Romania. That's uh, but, great. Yeah. So I became an instructor in 1993. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's great. It's, it's been long then. Welcome, Raiko. A warm Thank welcome you. to Silva International Podcast Series. Yeah. And uh, uh, we are uh, going to discuss on so many points, uh, mainly on mind, how... Mm -hmm. Uh, so we can control our mind or subconscious mind to work for us. And I believe this is quite an interesting topic. And so many people, actually, we have posted a poll in our uh, Silva International Instagram mm -hmm. that uh, what people want to learn from you. And mm -hmm. we have got a huge response. So maybe we are going to come on this topics. We will cover this as well uh, at the end. So uh, before we... Uh, start our conversation right mm -hmm. i want to ask like how you have introduced to this amazing uh, technique who has introduced you and how uh, your journey has started uh well curiosity introduced me because i was always interesting interested about uh, the human mind the human potential so okay. since my childhood, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, since the 80s, I was always reading books. And uh, I remember once in the 70s, uh, my father used to do to practice some yoga okay. and I was copying him. But I was a small kid. I didn't understand what he was doing. So I was always mm -hmm. curious about about our mind, about our potential, because uh, you meet people people or you read books or you see in magazines some some stories that are kind of unreal mm -hmm. uh, but it's a reality for somebody else so I was always curious and I was looking for something that will guide me to that so uh, in 1990 I read an article in a magazine in Belgrade in Serbia I was living at that time in Belgrade in Serbia and I was reading the article. Uh, uh, it was an interview with uh, uh, the instructor from uh, Serbia. Uh, his name is Dragan Vujovic. Okay. And uh, he, the, the reporter put, it, put him a lot of questions. And the answers he gave and the, the presentation of civil method was, truth to be told, it was too good to be real. <laughs> so I said... Come on, uh, so many years of looking, uh, of researching, of uh, wondering whether it can be. And here pops up something that really says everything is doable in just four days. That was, you don't need years of practice. You need just four days, two weekends, or that, that time was uh, two Very weeks. Actually, yeah. Well, the idea is that 
because it was too real to be true. Then I spent six months uh, going to their office, putting questions to convince myself that everything is okay, that there is not a catch, there is not a trick behind that. Uh, because every time I went to some place to study more and to uh, learn about myself more, about my subconscious, about my mind, uh, there, is, there, there was always a point where uh, they were telling me, now if you want to go further, you have to do this or that some restrictions and I don't like restrictions. I like my freedom. So I was putting questions and questions. And at the end, I said, OK, I'm just going to take a shot because uh, civil method uh, uh, gives you a, a, a warranty, a guarantee that if you do not like the program, you can refuse your certificate and you can get your money back. So I said, well, I don't have anything to lose except for four days. I was a student. And of course, because it was a strange course, my parents didn't finance that. So I had to use my own money <laughs> and it was quite an investment. The idea is that after the four days, I never asked my certificate. I never asked for my money back. I never gave back the certificate. Actually, I, I continued study practicing Silva method and Eventually, after three years of practicing on a daily basis and doing all the other courses like Ultra, like uh, the Graduate, like um, um, Ken's uh, uh, course, Mastery. the Mastery, yeah. um, I was, wow, it's getting better and better and better. So it was out of curiosity but it was not by chance it was not a coincidence because i was a student i was in my i was uh, uh 21 i was 21 mm -hmm. at, the, at the time and i i really needed the free fingers technique and the super learning techniques and everything to improve not improve my grades but to learn easier, faster and easier. And this is what happened. So it was really a great experience. And uh, it became a lifestyle. The idea is that when you start with Silva, and if you want to create changes in your life, it becomes a lifestyle. It's not something that you use from time to time. It has to become part of who you are. Yes. So Silva, Silva Method became part of who I am today and I'm evolving all the time and studying more and more and presenting uh, in Romania and even in the States, my uh, the ultra, uh, the two day ultra seminar, uh, which is on uh, healing on different techniques. And I, okay. I, I say about the ultra, the two day ultra yeah. that it's healing life. It's not about health. It's about healing our life, which includes wow. health. So, wow, that's amazing. So it was quite an experience at the beginning. Uh, mm -hmm. I tried, the idea is that uh, when I finished the course, actually before the course, uh, I, wa I had a lot of friends who were speaking kind of same language. We were interested in the, all these alternative things, et cetera, et cetera. So when, when the time came to, uh, to go to the course, I was the only one who went there with a friend of mine and we came back after the course really enthusiastic and with successes because you have, you know, from first weekend to the second weekend, you have five days to practice and yeah. you have really awesome experiences. So I tried to convince my friends that this is really working and they got scared. <laughs> <laughs> Because life works, our mind works, everything works. And Silva Method gave me the tools, which I'm applying on a daily basis for 33 years. And wow. it's great and it's getting better and better and better. That's With challenges, amazing. of course, you mm -hmm. always yes. have challenges in life. Yes. But, you, but you can overcome those challenges easier when you, when you have your your tools that are coming from within. 
Yes, and uh, that's what uh, the beauty of Silver Method. It gives us the tools, this amazing tools that we can use uh, by ourselves to uh, solve all the problems that we get in our life. So, uh, Raiko, for those who don't have even idea on what is Silva method or who are hearing for the first time this word or maybe who have heard or read somewhere but uh, they don't have a complete idea on what it is and what actually it relates to mind control method so could you please tell uh, what is Silva method and how it's related to mind control oh you know, every time I'm, I've been asked what is civil method and explain, it becomes a very long story. So I'll try to keep it short because you mm -hmm. can present silver method in different uh, ways because it covers uh, what you learn in four days, covers all areas of your life. So basically, uh, in four days, you get around 20 tools I call them tools, but those are mental techniques that you can immediately use them and get results by improving the quality of your life. But what is very important to mention is that Silva Method is based on Jose Silva's work. It's He created the method after studying for 22 years, researching and studying for 22 years, starting with his kids and then with adults. And he created this method and he gave it to the world with really <laughs> extraordinary results. You know, we have, we are about 10 millions right now in, yeah. around the world. However, what he discovered basically is, it was something really incredible because he, not, not only that he discovered, but he proved that we can lower our brain wave and we can stay conscious, we can stay aware. That was considered not possible. The only way we can lower our brain waves from beta to alpha, theta or delta, is if we go to sleep. But however, Jose Silva managed to create a method and to allow us, to each participant, to control his own brain waves and to lower them into the alpha wave waves, which are somewhere between 7 and 14 cycles per second. Why is that so important? Is because at that point, you are getting into your subconscious. You're getting in touch with your subconscious mind. Yes. Uh, we're in beta, we are conscious, we are aware of our exterior world, outer world, but the inner world is closed. When you go to sleep, the, the outer world closes because you shut down your eyes and the inner world opens up. But you go to sleep and you're not conscious. And the idea is that in beta, sometimes you're aware of some things, some, some, um, uh, the way you act, uh, the way you are, and you would like to change that. And it's really getting, for a lot of people, is a struggle. So they give up. Why? Because actually all of, all, all of our programs are, they resides in our subconscious mind. And when you are in beta, the door is locked. So actually, when you go to alpha and you stay conscious, you unlock your potential. And you unlock the, the door to the library where you have all the programs, okay. the one you're born with and the one that are created I, I have a question actually Reiko here sorry to interrupt in between actually but uh, the thing is that means when we are uh, like uh, now we are discussing on some point or maybe we are reading something uh, that time we are in conscious state of mind and we are in beta frequency level right our brain is uh you know uh, our brain is now uh bouncing in beta frequency and then when we use silva method and then we enter to the alpha frequency level and alpha frequency level is something that is related to the subconscious mind exactly exactly okay. 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 and why is important that because uh besides a lot of uh great effects that you have when you use consciously the alpha state 
the alpha waves. You have your blood circulation improved, your immune system boosts up, uh, you activate the, reg uh, the cell uh, regeneration of your cells. The one thing which is very important is that you get access to your subconscious mind. And this is very important because we have all the programs in our subconscious mind. What does that mean? What we do on a daily basis during the day, we are, we are actually the result, our behavior and everything, what we say, what we do, the way we react to different situations, those are programs from the subconscious mind. Where our awareness is somewhere around 5%. 95% is from the subconscious. Now, I would like to demystify a little bit the, the subconscious mind because uh, it's like, you know, oh, it's in the subconscious. People have the, 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 the belief that it's always the subconscious. I have to fight my subconscious. I have to go against it or whatever. Or he, he's, he's the guilty one. Actually, I don't want to fight my subconscious because it's my subconscious. It's part of myself. It's part of who I am. But the idea is that when I am unable to change things in the subconscious, then it becomes my enemy, which is which shouldn't be. So first step is to become friend with your subconscious and to understand that all the programs that we have, they're working for us not against us they are there created by our environment by our parents by uh, by ourselves by our friends by a, a, a lot of by our community the, the community and the society where you live yes we are all working on programs which are great because you don't have many times you don't have to think about some things that you are doing like for example when you want to write yeah, do you, if you remember the first time you, you they gave a chill a, ch a child a pencil, he takes the pencil like this, and he draws. Mm -hmm. And by repeat repetition, you know, the 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 neurons they fire and they wire, and they create a pattern which says when I when I identify a pencil my hand goes automatically like this. I don't think about it, which is great. Can you imagine if I would, uh, if I have to think about everything I'm doing, that I'm talking to you, that I'm moving my hands, that I'm walking, I have to raise my leg to put it in front, it would be too complicated. Yes. So those programs are great, are meant actually to help us. They're short, they are shortcuts for our actions during uh, in our life so our this instant actions are controlled by the subconscious mind well the, it comes from there it comes okay. from the programs that are there that are there that resides in the subconscious mind but they were created by repetition okay okay the repetition can be physical can be mental can be verbal can be audio repetition a lot of so everything what is repetition 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 the brain will will see and will say okay this is something important and he starts wiring neurons patterns so that he gets he creates a program like for example we're not born with a program of driving the car we have to learn that yeah so it's not a natural thing how do we do that? By repetition. We repeat how we keep the steering wheel, how we change, uh, uh, how we move our legs, etc., etc. And at a certain point, we have so many neurons connected that the program is active. And when you sit in front of the, of the steering wheel, you can drive it easily. Even yes. more, mm -hmm. your subconscious mind will tell you even when you're on the other side next to the driver and if he's driving a little bit dangerously which it's many times it occurs that you are pulling the brake with yeah. your legs right yeah. yes. because your subconscious mind said okay stop 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 that's what he knows but he the, the subconscious mind is not 
in front of the right, wheel, but now that yeah. it is in front of in front of the steering wheel. So the idea is that at certain point, all the programs they want to help us. They're created there to help us, and they are there. So I want people to understand that we do not have to fight our subconscious mind. Our subconscious is not our enemy. Actually, it's our best friend. The idea that he got the wrong information. Yes, and uh, also like the examples that you have given that uh, you know driving a car or maybe a bicycle or maybe uh, when the when a child started writing or even swimming, everything, everything exactly. that uh, that comes with repetitions and uh, practice and so many things. A similar way, I believe. Uh, how we can look at our life or how we can go deeper within ourselves that also will come from practice but all these things needs at least one guidance in every aspect we need a guide uh, when we start writing our parents are there and our teachers are there who has guided us uh, to us uh, how to uh, how to handle the pen or pencil and again when i started uh, you know driving a car i have a driving instructor with me who has instructed me our uh, initial days when i was you know uh, doing something wrong he was there with me so uh, and i believe in human life silver method is that instructor is that uh, parent for us who can help us who will help us to go inside ourselves right reko oh yes oh yes because at a certain point uh we have pro we have in our subconscious mind things that can bother us like some reactions yes reactions to to something that comes from the outer world or sometimes i have some limiting beliefs well they're not limiting they became limiting be beliefs because at a certain point they activated but when you want to change your limiting beliefs from beta mm -hmm you need really to struggle and the point is that jose silva proved showed to the world with mental techniques that when we go down to alpha level we get access to that program and we can change it easily without struggle without stress without uh, nightmares or whatever so we can change even our limiting beliefs. We can change a lot of things. But the idea is that a lot of people ask me, OK, how much is going to take me? I don't know. It depends from person to person. But the beauty is how you get your alpha state and you stay conscious. This is what we are learning and we are teaching during those four days. And it's very simple now most popular word is meditation but i love the other word mental exercise because we are exercising mentally our mind and our brain and our body so the idea is that we have to when we want to get to alpha we have to relax and that's something that is really opposite to what i was thought in school and in society that if you want to get something you have to put some effort you have to sweat and a, a long story yes and here comes silver method that tells me when i was 21 just relax come on <laughs> and how do you how do i relax well you close your eyes you take some deep breaths and you start counting down and then you relax your mind and your body and automatically your brain after a time of, after 10 minutes maybe not and the time is be becomes shorter and shorter as you practice more and more as it comes to seconds your brain will start producing alpha waves and that's the moment when you because you're sitting that your position is a sitting position so you don't drift into sleep yeah as you're in a sitting position you will not fall asleep and you stay conscious 
And here comes, okay, the question, and what do I do? And this is the magic of the Silva method. How to talk with your subconscious mind. We have techniques. So, for example, headache, headaches, they're not natural. They're only about 3 to 5% of headaches that are really uh, some uh, dysfunctions in our body. Other, all other headaches are programs from the subconscious mind because kids don't have headaches. Don't have headaches. Who yeah, has correct. the headache? My parents. And what do I want to be? An adult. I want to be like my parents. So I start copying by repetition whatever they do and I do not have. So I start repeating headache, headache, headache. Okay. Yes. A lot of work. Oh, and you hear your mother or your father. How was your day? Oh, don't ask me. I had a terrible day. I have such a headache today. So terrible day equals if it's repeating enough times in the child's mind at a certain point will be terrible day equals headache. This is what you want. So the, the beauty is just to de demystify uh, the power of the subconscious is that we are always getting what we are asking for. But the idea is that we nobody taught me till Silva Method how to ask and to ask what I desire. So <laughs> for what I desire. So the, the, the philosophy and actually not a philosophy, but the, 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 the part that really gives you that, that, that ingredient, essential ingredient is to learn what to ask from your subconscious mind. Okay. And mostly people, they are asking what they do not want instead of asking what they want. So what are you going to get? You're going to get what you do not want. And it's not your subconscious mind fault. <laughs> so our mind, our subconscious is giving us always what we are asking for. Okay, so uh, before asking, we have to think twice, twice that what we are asking for. <laughs> well, we not have only asking, but what we're thinking about. Okay, okay. Basis. Uh, okay. Because, uh, so for okay. example, we have moments in life. Yes, yes, please proceed. Yeah. No, please proceed. I'll, I'll because, come up to that. <laughs> <laughs> because we have uh, moments during the day when we are, I call it on an uh, automatic pilot. So, for example, you drive your car or you use the bus or whatever to your mm -hmm. job or to the school. So, did it occur sometimes to you that at a certain point you ask yourself, oh, when did I get here? Well, the yeah. question mm -hmm. is not when did you get got there, but where have you been? So, where are your thoughts and what are you repeating? And adults are repeating... And just to remind you, what it, the repetition creates neuropaths and creates yeah. programs in sub subconscious mm -hmm. mind, you're going to create problems because yeah. our attention is on problems and not on solutions. Yes. So we we're, we're always get what we are asking for and we're always getting what we're asking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, before before proceeding further, the thing that we have discussed, uh, I got a few more questions on this, on base, base of this. So uh, the first thing that we uh, we try to relax initially to go to the alpha state of mind, right? To uh, you know access our subconscious exactly. state of being. So uh, when in in my initial days when I started uh, practicing Silva method. It makes me uh, more and more, uh, you know, it makes me more and more struggle to, you know, be to that state of mind. When I was mm -hmm. uh, sitting in a quiet position and I was uh, trying to be relaxed, then all other thoughts are coming and bugging into my mind. So initial days, and I'm pretty sure that uh, so many people have uh, faced this and facing this problem. So how you can address this problem? Like, 
for me actually it takes time uh, i practiced lot lot and then after that it 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 uh, you, you know it doesn't interfere when i start meditating or when i start relaxing but initial days how you will guide this people please well first of all we have to be aware and conscious that we need to train ourselves in new skills yes it's like riding the bicycle you when you sit on a bicycle you don't start riding immediately because you don't have you don't have all the data and all the the movements and everything yes so that you can drive the bicycle so the same thing is with uh, our mind control it's our mind control it's not controlling other other people's mind, other people's mind. It's controlling our our mind. Yes. So what I did at the beginning, because it it happens to everybody. And actually, one of the skills in meditation, in relaxation, is coming back to focus by relaxing. So when when my thoughts they drift away, I have two options. To become nervous, God, it happened again. Or to stay calm and to say, cancel, cancel, come back to the focus. So this is what I did. And at the, at the beginning, the period of time when I can focus on one thing was, I don't know, short. And then it gets longer, lo gets longer and longer and longer. Then it becomes longer, you have control. But you have days where you are stressed out or whatever, something un un unexpectedly uh, happened in your life. And you got stress and then you go to, to relax, but your mind is drifting again away, your thoughts actually. And you yes. start again, cancel, cancel, go come back. So it's always by relaxing because, why? Because when you get tensed, and when you struggle, you will start producing beta brain waves, and you will go out of your relaxed state, out of alpha. So it's always relax. And I use, and I still use, even today, cancel, cancel, and come back. So it happens to me, especially when I go before night when I do my my meditation, my exercise, that you know sometimes I fall asleep and. Then I, my, my thoughts, they drift away and I just come back and I just come back. The idea is to stay, to stay focused uh, uh, and to understand that we have one belief that I'm sleeping if I don't know anything about myself. But I, I, was, I changed that perception that whenever I am in alpha, I am actually sleeping. The only difference is that I'm conscious, I'm aware. So I'm within, I'm not, I'm in contact with myself and I'm already sleeping. And the idea is the last thought before drifting to sleep, into sleep. It's very important. It's one of the very important, not skills, but important thoughts because that's the subject on which your brain and your mind will work for the next hours. And this is how you can start changing whatever you want in your subconscious mind. The last thought, besides all the techniques that we have, like mirror of the mind, yes, headache control, the free finger technique. And we have one of the greatest uh, techniques, which I love, is the laboratory and the counselors, where, where you use your imagination and you become limitless yes i mean yes. you're you're un not limitless unlimited I that's mean, that's an amazing thing uh Reiko. okay so uh here comes my next question suppose somehow i have managed or like people will manage to go to that alpha state of mind okay and uh, then uh, you know we have uh, somehow eliminated our limiting beliefs okay so before eliminating as you told that <laughs> as you told that our brain is already programmed in uh, some way for example from uh, our childhood i ha we have listened to our parents that you know after a hard day they got headache 
and uh, and i saw my father that uh, after a hard days he come back to home and he told that uh, yeah i got a severe headache and i want a cup of tea to get rid of that headache so somehow this limiting belief has in my mind yes that after a hard day or after several meetings i will get headache and there will be a cup of tea that can sure. help me to get rid of this headache right so how uh, initially i think it will be uh, a bit difficult to uh, eliminate this limiting beliefs or this program that already set in our mind and reset new programs so how we can uh, proceed in this how we can reset the programs after being adult like i'm 30 so after 30 years of my life how i will reprogram our my brain wave states please like well uh i have a bad news <laughs> it's a uh... Well, it's a it's long life. I mean, yeah. all all our life we will discover limiting beliefs. Uh, Jose Silva used to explain to us that somewhere by the age of fourteen, eighty five percent of all the programs that we will use in our life, mm-hmm. they're already there, eighty five percent. And what r- latest research are showing is that. we are most programmable till the age of 6 7 mm-hmm. so a lot of things we are like in a in a hypnotic state the kids are in a they're like sponges they absorb everything and they do not have the rational mind to select whether this is good or not it's coming from the outer world from adults it means it has to be good so what i discovered and i'm in my 50s <laughs> is that it's a long term job but the beauty is that when you have a headache i used to have a lot of headaches is that this technique this that that, that jose silva created which is called the headache control it works not only on the headache but it's de- it deletes all the programs that created the headache okay. and even more even more is that i do not have to know what program what kind of programs they are is because of my parents is because of my neighbors or whatever or because i want some more attention sometimes i i created a headache because i want to avoid something or because i want some more more attention instead of asking so i learned one thing by eliminating headaches now if you want some attention you have to ask for it and it's beautiful you start communicating and this is how you change your patterns and you change your programs your programs in your mind so it's not only changing what you do in your subconscious but it's it's sustaining that in your beta beta, beta. in your actions so acting cons- accordingly to what are you programming in alpha state okay so there is no end i'm sorry to 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 tell you that but there is, it's a never ending story but it's a beautiful story because you always discover something more about yourself and yes. whenever you get to some limiting beliefs or fears or whatever and you you work on them and you manage them you are one step more up yes yes and i uh, actually i am already enjoying i am already you know getting so much of server method in a uh, last few years from when i have started taking the classes and uh, practicing the home study programs that we have in the server international it has helped me it has made my life more easy i i believe i initial days i was having you know a lots of goals uh, the never ending goals but now somehow i managed to short out my goals i have something precise i know what i want and i know the direction and uh, this something that serva method has helped me to get so i am always always grateful and i'm i'm pretty sure that i have so many things to learn and to get from this amazing technique right go exactly exactly 
what what are we learning when you practice the silver method is to become uh, you become more um, you raise your performance because you become more practical and more clear about what you want what you're asking yes. for so uh, the idea is that our mind uh, is really understanding what we are saying what we're asking for and sometimes we speak in uh, how, how to say uh, in like you know like uh, it's it creates misunderstandings uh, I, I, I'm it's slipping my mind the word but <laughs> the idea is that sometimes uh, for example our intentions uh, you know, one of the beauties of the free finger techniques, which here in Romania everybody's glad, is that they they have their 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 parking spot. Okay. When they they use the car, and I explain them that everybody is getting what he's asking for. By an example, let's say that there is a, a somebody who didn't do the class and a silver graduate. Now, the person who didn't do the, the class and doesn't know the technique, if we have to meet and we, we, we start from the same point and we have to go downtown at, at noon, for example, when it's crowded, the traffic is jammed, the normal person, as I call them, the normal person will, will leave on time or before time because it's going to calculate how much time it needs to get there, uh, the traffic, mm -hmm. and how much time he will spend looking for a parking spot, for a parking place. Mm -hmm. Now, the silver graduate will leave on time, that means later, because his intention is to get there and to park the car. Now, the results, I mean, if we listen, we can say that the intentions are the same, but what happens, it's completely different because the normal person wants to look for the parking place and the subconscious mind with the universe, they say, oh, my, my, my man, my guy, my lady, she loves looking for a parking place. So let's turn her around here and there so that she can spend more time in looking for a parking place. Yeah. And they do not understand why you're so angry for this result. The silver graduate, his intention is to park the car, not to look for the parking place, to park the car. And what happens is that synchronicities comes along and you have your, your place where to park your car. So many times we we think that we are clear but we are not and this is the beauty of the silver method techniques which i learned in 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 33 years i even do mistakes today for example i i was supposed to to get to uh, uh to a company by six o'clock 6 p.m to to deliver their something I was asked to do a favor and I said, okay, no problem. It was Friday. And I, I did my three finger and I said, I'm there before six o'clock. So I was there before six o'clock, but the door was, was closed. Everybody left before that. I thought that I was clear, but actually what was my intention? To deliver the goods, not to be there at six, before six o'clock. So this is, I got the result that I asked for. I didn't like it, but I was laughing in my car after that and I was phoning. I said, look what, I, what great result I got. So after 30 years of experience or 10 years or five years, you become wiser and you start laughing and enjoying life, even if it's not working the way you want, but actually is working the way you are asked for. Okay, okay. so uh, the thing is that uh, that I uh, learned from you here is like we have to give our brain the clear direction, the clear goal 
what we actually want and the brain and it's our brain's duty that it will work automatically or it will you know pull our us automatically towards our desired outcome and uh, is something like gut feeling or intuition that we can call this thing uh well it's part of it it's part of it yeah. because on the fourth day for example mm -hmm. uh, when we do our silver cases we discover mm -hmm. the beauty that of our uh, subjective feelings so we have uh, our subjective senses which is in one of one of them is intuition so the idea is that we have uh, normally we have intuition from time to time yes it does you don't have it every time you want i would love that as a normal person but after using silver techniques you know how to go to and in keep in touch yourself with your sub, uh, subjective senses and to use them daily like intuition like like clair clairvoyance like psychometry a lot of lot of things and one of them also you start being more paying actually start paying more attention to what your body is telling to you Okay. So, for example, when I need, I don't have time to go into my level and to do my programming, and I need to take a decision very fastly. I'm asking always my guts, because my guts, this is where I'm sensitive. They will tell me yes or no. Is it good for me or no? But the idea is that whenever I ask, is it good for me or no, I'm not going to get also why. And this is one of the challenges for the adults. The adults want, okay, this is best for me, but why? What will yeah. happen? Uh, and uh, there is a technique, a silver technique, which is fantastic because it helped me to make the best decisions in my life. And that's the glass of water. And that's how getting in touch with the universe and uh receiving signs and information that you will know that they are those are your answers for the question you have for the decision you have to take however this technique will not make the decision instead of you so this, this is how i moved to romania or this is how i uh, this is how i quit my job <laughs> so you were initially aware you were not from romania no i'm not from romania i was born in uh, belgrade in uh, okay. serbia today uh, my father was a diplomat so he will, i lived all around the world with him and after that i we came back to serbia to belgrade Mm -hmm. and in 91 i made i did my glass of water technique asking where should i go because i wanted to to continue my studies somewhere else not in not in belgrade and actually i was hoping for an answer to be somewhere italy or france or uh, us or uk i ha i have a big family so i have a lot of i had a lot of options okay. and the answer came go to Romania come on it was unbelievable to me because I had nobody here nobody but when I came into Romania the puzzle the pieces of the puzzle came one to each other they came, it was fantastic so mm -hmm. but this is you know making decision and accepting the information what is the best decision to take Okay. And this and, is also part of intuition. Okay, okay. And when uh, we ask ourselves that you tell, you told, right, that uh, you ask your gut feelings when you don't have yeah. much time and you have to take a quick decision, you ask your gut feelings. So when we want to ask our gut feelings, then uh, we should go to that uh, alpha state of mind while asking. Oh, yes, because Silva Method helped me to clear out what is yes and what is no and especially when you have to uh, when you have to take a decision a very quick one and maybe you're stressed 
you need to get into a relaxed state. So I need to relax. I need to close my eyes. I need to go to my alpha level and okay. ask the question. Why? Because the, if you are stressed, your body is, you know, like this. And you need to relax so that you can let your body speak to you. And this is why I need my alpha waves, my alpha brain waves, go into the level, into level, relaxing, relax my body and ask the question and observe what the result and then accept it. <laughs> but Silva method can really improve. You can use the Silva method to improve a lot, a lot of things in your life through the techniques or just by the way that the fact that you can meditate on a daily basis and that will improve your life. However, I prefer giving a purpose to every meditation. So this is why I use techniques, Silva Method techniques. And yes. maybe, sorry, maybe sometimes I don't have a specific goal, but I want to improve myself. And this is working on my on my subconscious level with myself with my imagination so it's it's on a daily basis and of course observing myself during the day so this is how you become friend with your subconscious mind by going to level on a daily basis practicing exercising and observing the results and if you're a silver graduate using the techniques you will observe the results and you will see how you start changing okay. and okay. life becomes greater you will gonna have a, 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 a nice smile on your face yes. and that change because on your subconscious level you change a lot of beliefs and mm -hmm. i don't like calling them limiting beliefs because they become be limiting but okay. when i manage them they're gone okay okay very good. thank you so much okay so uh, let's let's straight go to the questions that uh, people have you know given for you and they want us to ask for you, from you is like the first one people want to ask is how to meditate to get desired job desired job well, first of all, uh, be specific. What kind of job do you want? Okay. So you have to describe very clearly what kind of job do you want? This is first thing. Second okay. thing, go to your level and visualize yourself at this kind of job. But you have to add emotion, positive emotions because our brain and our mind there reacts to our emotions and it's very important to be coherent in that so visualize yourself at your ideal job and visualize the happiness the joy the satisfaction all all the emotions that your your best your good job your best job your ideal job will give you However, keep in mind that we're living in 21st century and I don't know if that job is going to be for a lifetime, but it's going to be the ideal job for, for sure for a period of time. So uh, is it something like, uh, suppose that, uh, suppose, uh, for example, I have a desire of, on going to a uh, tasting profile. Uh, in my job okay and uh, and somehow it's not correct right that as we have so many maybe manual testing profile and we have everything in automation right now and also the ai things are coming up so uh, is somehow uh, silva method or our subconscious mind will help us that no this is not a correct goal for you or to set a proper goal whenever we are you know diverting from our actual goal the subconscious mind will help us in this as well Yes, because uh, the more you use your subconscious mind, the more you will have your intuition okay. present. So sometimes the technology can tell you, well, this should be the best way, but your intuition might say, no, this is not for you. 
it's 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 like uh, I I I can tell you from my experience, for example, when I had some opportunities in business business opportunities. Yeah. Well, I had some um, opportunities that on paper were great, but my intuition said no. I went to level, I asked, and I received no. But on paper, it was too good. It was an, a, a fantastic opportunity. And it didn't work for me. But when I, when, when I asked my intuition and my intuition said yes, although it didn't look like it would be great, when my intuition said yes, I did it and it was great. And it was really great. So th the idea is that when you go to level and you start working with yourself from your level, from the alpha state or even theta state, you will start improving your intuition and start listening to it. You have techniques that will help you, like glass of water, like dream control, like a laboratory. There are three techniques that helps you to improve uh, your intuition or actually your, your subjective senses so that you can make the right decisions or you can say the right words at a... At a at, a, at at the right moment okay okay that's great okay so uh next question is uh how to overcome fears with using silver method fears well uh it's very interesting because we are we are born with just two fears and we have a lot okay naturally children they have just two fears and look how many fears we have. Well, it depends on the fear. It depends on the fear. But you, you can program your three fingers. For, again, when I'm talking about programming, I'm talking that you have to go to your level. And you can, you can create an affirmation which will express the, the desired outcome. And you can repeat it in alpha and in beta and repeat it in beta as much as you can. Then you can program your three fingers so that whenever that fear comes, it will disappear with your three finger technique or five finger technique because it's a state and we can use that technique also. Then you can program yourself from your subconscious mind using the mirror of the mind. And you can visualize yourself at the beginning in the, how do you react when you have, when you, when you're in the situation when that, that fear appears, and then in the white frame, yes, as, and I'm making curious people for, with yes. this, you can, you can program and visualize yourself that you react differently and with all the positive emotions, like, oh, that was just a fear. For example, my, 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 I, I had some people that were afraid of birds, and yes. you go out and it's full of birds. And they, and they used many techniques, programming their, from the subconscious mind with the, those techniques, and they love the birds. They don't have birds uh, in the house, but they are not reacting. They're act, acting actually normal, normally, without any fear. Oh, it's just a bird. So you can, by, re, by using the Silva techniques, you reprogram from your subconscious mind all those reactions, all those fears, okay. even fear of speaking in public. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So that means like overcoming fears, It uh, we need help of three techniques from Silver Method. One is long relax, second one, three finger, and the third one is mirror of the mind. Mirror of the mind, yes. And I would add... Uh, the beneficial statements or positive affirmations. Okay. Okay. They work very great because, and I, I really, uh, because when you say that in alpha, it's like 60 times saying in beta. Okay. So 
you know, when, when, when you have a positive affirmation, like we have in this in Slomata, every day and every day, I, I'm getting better and better and better. You can pro reprogram with the affirmation, start reprogramming with the affirmation, reprogramming your subconscious mind with that affirmation, the fear you have. Okay, okay. That's, that's great then. The idea is that there is no one technique. There, there is no one technique, but when you have multiple choices, use them all. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, next question. And the same, uh, how to get rid of anxiety using Silva method? Is it the same thing that how we can do with fears? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Almost, yes. yeah. Okay, yes. so uh, the next one is uh, people want to learn more about glass of water method, how it actually works. Oh, it works perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this technique, you use it to get information when you need to take a make a decision. So uh, the idea is that you need three days for this technique. You do it at night, before sleep, and in the morning, right after you wake up. Uh, do you want me to go into details? Uh, we can, we can, I think we can discuss more about this because we have two more uh, things that a glass of water and three finger and so many people have asked for this too. So I think it will be better, Raiko, if we can sit for one more time to discuss uh, on this, uh, you know, popular silver method techniques on which people are having doubts, uh, mm -hmm. which, you know, common in well, One thing is that when you, you know, explaining the technique is one thing, but... The idea is that what we do at the course is that we program at the subconscious level each technique yes. so that we know that it's going to work. The idea is that whenever people ask me, okay, can I, can I do the technique? Yes, you can do the technique, but I don't know if it's going to work because you have to meditate before that, you have to relax, and you have to program the technique so that it works. Maybe it's going to work, maybe not. So just to clear out these things. Yes. yes. So you just fill a glass of water with water, with water, yeah? No sparkling water, no other liquids. It has to be water, yes? And while you drink the water, you just say, this is all I have to do to find out and say what. Do I have to do this or that? Like I asked, this is all I have to do to, to, to find out, to solve the cause of the problem or if it's a problem or to find out because I, I, didn't, I was not having a problem, but it was finding out where to go, which country to move. Mm -hmm. So you drink half of water, half a glass in the evening, then you go to sleep and you fall asleep. The best way is to fall asleep immediately. Then in the morning you drink the rest of the water, saying the same thing. Of course, not out loud, but <laughs> mentally, right. saying mentally. And after that, all, the day long, all day long, you s avoid the subject. You are not, don't start looking for the answers. Because the answer can come either through um, a dream, you can dream the answer, or it can happen something during the day, something unexpected. Uh, maybe you can you will uh, you can turn on your radio and a song will give you the answer, or you can turn your TV. I'm just giving some examples from grads and from myself. You know, you can get from the TV. You just unexpectedly open the TV, and there is your answer. Or you 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 were. I don't know, in a store and you saw a newspaper and you bought a newspaper and there's your answer. Or, or by coincidence, you are meeting, you met somebody uh, while walking and he starts talking about your question, giving you the answer. So you have a lot of opportunities during the day. So the idea is relax. Stop thinking about it. If nothing happened during the day, then repeat the second time. And you do that way three times. Now, the the world is, we are actually, uh, we are living 
in this field of information, this quantum field of information, when you use the glass of water technique, you're just becoming more sensitive to your information, to information, to the information that you need, and you trigger all the mechanisms to get actually to activate the coincidences and uh, um, the chances to get to your answer. Now, the idea is that sometimes the answer that you will receive, it's not, you're not going to like it. You, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't like my answer, not once, but many times. Yes. However, so it's still your decision. So, however, I can just tell you from my experience and thousands of people I've trained that the best decision is when you receive it from using this technique on long term, long term. Yes. So this is how I, when I, I used to, to work uh, in a company and uh, this is how I uh, asked, should I stay or should I uh, resign? And the answer came to resign through uh, a melody, through a song that I heard on the radio for three days in a row. Uh, okay. which the, the song was saying goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. So, <laughs> uh, and, but it, it becomes obsessive, you know. The, in, so it was very clear for me, okay, and now what I do? I resign and what do I do? Don't worry. There is a plan. The other thing is the three finger technique, which we have to program this mechanism during the course because if you do like this nothing's going to happen so we have to go to our alpha level at the course this is what we do then we do this gesture and then we give to our subconscious mind information what we want to happen when i do like this so it's very important to to use the alpha level to program the technique. This is why otherwise you can find the techniques also in the Silva book. You know, the Silva mind control method, there, Jose Silva explained a lot of things. You, the healer, explained a lot of techniques there. But the idea is that they will, we know for sure that they will work if you know how to produce your alpha waves and if you program the techniques from your alpha waves, from your subconscious level. Yes, yes. That, that's amazing. I believe uh, people will get the most, uh, you know, most amazing or beautiful answers uh, in this conversa conversation, through this conversation, I, I must say. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, Raiko, for, for being here, for giving such a wonderful time uh, to us. And uh, we have covered so many things today. And I'm pretty sure whoever hasn't heard about Selva Method before uh, and who will come to our conversation for the very first time, uh, it will be an amazing introduction to uh, this person that what is Selva Method and what how amazing it can work to change one's uh, perspective of life, how oh, they yes. can change their life. It's a life-changing experience. And when you use it, it becomes uh, your natural state of being. Yes. Thank you for, for this experience. Thank you for this po podcast. And Thank hope you. to see you soon. Yes. And uh, one more thing, Raiko. Uh, do you do the seminars in English as well? Well, online, yes. Online, you can do. I will do. I will do. Okay. I will okay. do. I teach... When I, uh, usually I teach uh, the the advanced course, the ultra course, uh, okay. in person. But I'm planning to start in English online courses. Okay, that that will be great. Then uh, I'll put the links of all the uh, like Silva International uh, website link and Tripos website link and the social media handles as well uh, in the description box so that people can get most out of it. Thank you so much, Raiko. Have a nice day. Uh, it's nice uh, to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.